Wilson Lords of Mayhem is a new action RPG launched on February 13. It is a dynamic hack and slash with no class restrictions. You can choose your path as you level up and play your character the way you want. Explore this shattered and corrupted world to uncover its ancient secrets and hidden truths. What would happen if Diablo and Path of Exile shacked up and had a baby on the cry engine? Apparently, Wilson Lords of Mayhem is the answer. Unfortunately, crippling server issues are getting in the way of Wilson Lords of Mayhem's big launch. The combination of Diablo's graphical polish with the brutality of Path of Exile, with an interesting skill tree, has worked well enough for the game to get a 72% mostly positive rating from just over 15,000 reviews. The talent tree in Wilson is complex and full of variants on the one hand and user-friendly on the other hand without gaps. Some mechanics in Wilson might be on the wishlist of so many Path of Exile friends for years. The cutscenes are also great, and it's just a shame that the story runs out of air in the last third. What do Steam reviews say about Wilson at launch? And what are the first impressions about this new action RPG? Here are some statements about this game. Wilson isn't necessarily an ARPG that does a lot with the existing ARPG formula, but according to Steam players what it does do is very good. Fans praise the game's replayability and versatility with builds, as well as the crisp graphics, density of mobs, and especially the ability to reroll skill points and talents, allowing players to switch classes from, say, mage to warrior with little complication. It feels like a Diablo 4 with a mix of Dark Souls and seems a solid action RPG. Negative reviews noted a string of server issues around the game's release, a lack of optimization on launch day, the default movement button being bound to left click, which is your default attack, a lack of environment variety and monster design, poor voice acting and general quirks with the controls. If you try playing the game right now, don't expect a smooth ride. All of that is to say that Wilson looks really cool, but if you're going to buy it today, don't expect to be able to enjoy the whole world of Wilson, unless you're okay with committing to offline mode. I'm a dad, in my 30s now and don't have much time dedicated to gaming. So when I pick a game, I feel I have to choose it wisely. I'm very very glad I purchased this one. First Steam review I've ever done. One of my favorites is Grim Dawn. This is now equal to that, and I've only played the first couple of hours. Wow, just wow. So much potential in a game is super refreshing. All in all I am very excited for this game. It has ample amounts of potential, and I legit was getting more and more sucked in as I played. Which for me is a good sign, generally it's the opposite effect. This game can very well smash into the ARPG mountain, and cause the great ARPG giants to waver, perhaps PoE and Diablo should keep an eye out. If Wilson can give us a polished game, as in the main storyline doesn't have game-breaking bugs, and have an endgame to keep a vibrant player base alive and coming back for more, then I can very much see it entering the arena of hitters like Diablo and PoE. I was disappointed in my purchase of Wilson in early access almost two years ago. But after setting it down and forgetting about it for a good long while, suddenly I was seeing videos pop up on YouTube about all of the great changes happening to Wilson, and so I gave it another try. Wow, have they come a long ways. I haven't had this much fun in an ARPG in a good long while, and now, a day before release and having seen all of the stuff they have planned for Endgame, and moving forwards is outstanding. Currently a buggy mess. Played into Act 2 and had to restart, where it sent me back to the beginning of the game at level 25. Lost all my waypoints and quests. Wait until they fix this up and lots of people say it's stable. Don't buy the game yet, way too many bugs as it is. I made it all the way until Act 3 before the game decided to reset my character's story progress from the beginning. Kept all the gear levels, but now I have to grind through the story once again feels bad man, especially since the later areas are super repetitive. Right now the game just feels unpolished, and I can't tell if it's because of the servers being under strain and things feel laggy or it's just the way the game is, but combat often feels unresponsive and choppy, attacks don't connect the way you expect them to, not to mention the unit collision can make things super frustrating at times.